I got a question for you guys. Who grew up watching Saturday morning cartoons? Besides me. Every Saturday morning, 8 a.m., you get up, you got your PJs on, and you're about to watch your very first cartoon of the day. Your favorite, one of your favorite cartoons. But besides that, what was the first thing you did before you sat in front of that TV? I know what I did. I got myself a bowl of Kellogg's cereal. Now, mentioning that name, guys. Kellogg. Battle Creek, Michigan. And you guys will know exactly where I'm at. Let's go. Hey, lady! Why the beard? You didn't ken who I am? We have never met. I regret. Well, Lynn, who is it can pull up a tree? Or toss a stone like a wee ball? Hold it. It's Kellogg's Big O Fish. <laughs> Almost, Yogi. It's Big Otis from Kellogg's new oat cereal, OKs. The meat of the oats in the tenderest, tastiest form yet. Flavored as only Kellogg's knows how. The tender Willie Keith Kellogg first purchased the 10 grave spaces in section a lot four on may 25th 1896 for the sum of fifty dollars he and his wife ella had lost two children in death by that date william keith kellogg age four had died october of 1889 from defleria Irving Hadley Kellogg, aged 10 months, died August of 1895 from what was recorded in the old Sexton's books as spinal trouble. Both children were originally buried in lot 305 here at Oak Hill Cemetery. They were buried next to their paternal grandparents, John Preston and Ann J. Kellogg. After W.K. Kellogg purchased the spaces in Section A, he had his two children removed from Lot 305 and reinterred in the newly owned lot. For ten years, the rest of the grave spaces remained empty. Then, in 1905, W.K. Kellogg suffered another death in his family. Sarah Ellen Kellogg died in Montague City, Massachusetts. Sarah was brought here to Battle Creek to be buried on the Kellogg lot. Sarah was a cousin by marriage to W.K. She married author E. Kellogg, son of Smith Moses Kellogg. Smith Moses was the half-brother of W.K., sharing the same father, John Preston Kellogg. In 1912, W.K. Kellogg lost his wife of almost 32 years, Ella Osborne Davis Kellogg, at the age of 54. Miss Kellogg was buried on September 5, 1912. The next burial to occur on his lot was that of his niece, Gertrude Florence Kellogg, in October of 1925, Gertrude was the daughter of Hester W.K.'s sister and Frank W. Howe. Hester herself followed five years later in May of 1930. The last to be buried in the lot was W.K. Kellogg himself at the age of 91. W.K. was buried on October 11, 1951. The funeral was ordered by his daughter Elizabeth Ann Kellogg Williamson. As was his wishes, he was cremated at White Chapel in Detroit, Michigan. Shaw Funeral Home handled the arrangements for his service. A service was held at W.K. Kellogg's Gill Lake residence. Before his death, W.K. gave instructions for a very unprecedented obituary and for the rights to use the 23rd psalm the lord's prayer and no sermon i do not want a public funeral i do not care to be written up on in the paper 
I do not want any long drawn out sermon or eulogy of any sort. The expenses should be not exceeding $500. No flowers and burial should take place at Oak Hill Cemetery after cremation. The minister who presented the last rites summarized the thoughts of all whom mourned him. In looking around for a monument for Mr. Kellogg, some will see the many buildings that pay tribute to his name and genius, factories the world over, hospitals, schools, and churches that he helped. Others will point to his foundation and similar groups through which his beneficiaries were performed. But I would point to the numerous men and women, boys and girls, whose lives are embraced or enhanced by this man who made the most of an opportunity and in turn improved the opportunities for countless people. This is the whole family, the Kellogg family. Mr. Kellogg, you put a smile on millions of children's faces every Saturday morning. I just want to say thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You, you changed the world. I wish we had more people like you in this world in this day and time. Rest in peace, sir. Rest in peace. Well, guys, I hope I was able to put a smile on your face also. Let me know what memories you guys have of your favorite types, kind of uh, Kellogg cereal. What was your routine, you know, Saturday mornings or any morning? What was your favorite cereal? Mine was Frosted Flakes. Man, this, this was awesome. This was definitely an awesome experience. I've actually been to the Kellogg Mansion and I will link that in the description maybe somewhere up here but you guys will see that i've been to mr kellogg's mansion and that place was awesome i wish i could have met this man if he only knew how much his invent invention has changed the world but let me know in the comments below guys what was your favorite cereal It'd be an inter interesting topic to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, hit that thumbs up. Or give me that thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your family. Tell everybody about Michiganer Man. Help me along on my journeys, guys. So I can... Uh, Find more stuff like this. Go explore more things like this.
All my links will be in my description, guys, if you want to contribute to the channel, become a member. Links will be down below. You know, hit that PayPal up. Buy some Michigander Man merch. That definitely helps with stuff like this. I love each and every one of you guys. Much love.